Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this VS Code Pro Tip, we're going to be tackling one of my very most favorite extensions in the entire world. I'm talking about Easy Snippet. If you head to the extension page, search for Easy Snippet, it looks something like this. Now, this is not a hugely popular package, 57,000 downloads should be close to 57 million downloads, if you ask me, because this is one of my very most favorite things in the entire world. And I'm not exaggerating here. I really love this type of thing. So what does this do and why might you want it? Well, we all know that working with snippets is really nice sometimes to save you a bunch of time. In fact, many times you're working in a component. This is a view component. And many times I might actually do something very similar to this component. And perhaps I'd like to actually have this be some scaffolding where I can just drop this in and then change specific values. Or I could use this as a starting off point for a snippet that I might want. Either way, all you have to do is highlight the code that you would like to turn into a snippet. Fire up your command palette, search for snippet or easy snippet, anything like that. You can see mine is like always at the top of the list. There's also a keyboard shortcut assigned to it because I use this that much. And then we have create snippet from selection. Okay, so if we were to hit enter here, it's going to ask for a snippet key. Now the snippet key is going to be the abbreviation that you type in. So in this case, what we have is a Svelte auto form. Now I created this Svelte auto form package to automatically generate forms in Svelte. And it's very similar that you have something that looks just like this. So I'm going to say this is uh, auto form, just AF, right? Okay, and I'm going to hit enter. So what's neat about this is that this creates the automatic snippet with a prefix. You can give it a description if you want. And then when I hit save to this file, you can see what it does is it creates this AF snippet over here in the snippet menu. Now, if you don't have the snippet menu, it looks like those little quotes. You can click it. You can open it if you want. And you can see that we now have these following Svelte snippets. We also have Markdown, GraphQL, whatever. But it automatically categorizes it by the file type, which is great. So that means that if I ever create a new Svelte file, in fact, I'm just going to, I'm not even going to save this as a file. I'm just going to make sure I set the language type to be Svelte. If I have this as a Svelte file and I type AF and hit tab, I don't know why this popped open here, F must have a file pad. No, I don't want you to do that. You can see that it automatically just dropped in my snippet. Now, this is a quite large snippet. This is almost like a scaffolding, an entire component. So what's cool about this is that you end up, can end up creating your own snippet library of snippets that are as large as small, but customized directly to your needs specifically, rather than just being these generic things. Notice how I don't care that there's all this stuff about, um, you know, what the post input is or where I'm bringing in types or author reference or these types of things. Because honestly, all I want out of here is the general structure of this in which I'm going to change for later. And 99 of other 99% of other developers, they're never going to care about this. They're not going to want this, but I want this. So then I can turn this into my own snippet. So this thing can save you a ton of time. And again, I use it all the time, whether it's just to do something like STS to create a script with a lang of TypeScript. I think I have SS to create the style tag with SCSS, SKL to create a Svelte uh, lang TS with a load function. Perfect, right? I mean, I, I use this stuff a lot. And so if you're the type of person who doesn't like having to memorize code or functions or whatever, and you want to have more customizable snippets, it doesn't get any easier than easy snippet. So check this out. Again, one of my favorite extensions, definitely an underutilized one by many developers. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you on Wednesday for the next What is Wednesday, where we talk about one of uh, a brand new JavaScript API that I think is going to be really exciting. And also on Friday for the next weekly Svelte. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.